Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're looking for the GD King. Yep, we are in a very, very familiar uh, waypoint because we've come here a billion times. Uh, and I, we know where the king is. We know where he is. We were so close at the end of the last episode. We were so. Yourself. I mean, almost, almost. I figure a human being almost kills themselves probably, you know, like a hundred times a day. Yeah. Look at this. They hit it over here. Oh, it's a hidden hole. It's a hidden hole. You know, that's technically a waterfall, too. It, oh, my God, dude. It really is. God damn. Yeah, it's deep in here. I haven't been in here yet. So deep? So deep? It might put me to sleep. Honestly. So deep. Did you put her ass to sleep? It might. And this is the king. He looks. Is he alive? Yeah, he's breathing. He's well, that's bre weird. He's breathing over here. Okay. Why is he doing that? Why is he breathing? <laughs> Why is know. he so big? Oh, Didn't we meet him before, and he wasn't that big? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I thought he was bigger. I thought he was oh. like a fat boy. God, who approaches? Is that you? Oh, it is. Oh, it's just Link. How did you find this place? What cruel ploy did you are you plotting? Hold on, my ever lord Muzu. Uh, if you speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will be on, will only be confused as to what is going on. It's Prince Dorfian or King Dorfian. Dorf. <laughs> Dorf. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I have received word that you were missing along the pr with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Duh. B -b 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 -b. Well, well. To think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. You expect us to believe that the princess simply disappeared just like that? Do you sully our ears with lies? Wow. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deceptions. Uh, okay. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. Yeah, there he must does. be there must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when the last prince when we last saw Princess Zelda. I accidentally skipped it. We encountered Princess Zelda <laughs> just after <laughs> I rolled ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from Very nowhere. Very interesting thing to happen. The sludge, the sludge, and fragments of ruin began rain, raining down. Muzu and I have left the domain to investigate these strange concerns. That's when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, ac accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise that she unleashed the beast upon us. King Dorfian <laughs> valiantly vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured during the sludge battle. As the princess, uh, as for the princess, she vanished without a trace. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and they, and uh, harmed King Zora, the, the it'd be crazy. <laughs> that was the temporary. <laughs> yes, that's why we are temporarily remaining hidden here in the pristine, pristine sanctum. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora Domain and unleashed a monster upon us. What a bee. The, the waters of truth have become murkier still. But, but from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge monster, even the princess. It must be, there must be an answer, and it must lie in the sky. Sidon ordered J Jito, the historian, a historian, a will, and a historian well acquainted with the ruins to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. He's like, no, nah, I talked to that guy. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> ah, so you have already spoken to, to him. Uh, you say that the mark of the king was mentioned on a stone slate that was restored. Hmm, indeed, I know of it. The mark of the king refers to Zor's king scale, one of my scales, in other words. I have uh, heard it called by the name you mentioned in the ancient ritual. However, none remain 
none remain who are, who know how to you how it is used if if this particular scale of mine may prove useful eh, by all means take a few there is no need to for restraint this, this is nothing to me if if I, if you run out, simply return and get more. <laughs> hey, baby, he just gave me some scales. King scale, get it. <laughs> yeah, after all that has transpired and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is uh, nearing for me to pass the torch a little bit to Sidon, huh? King Dorfian! In any case, it is a matter for another day after the chaos surrounding the sludge has been relieved. Uh, please inform Sidon about my situation and about the king scale. I like how the dorky guy's just like, but king. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> tell, uh, tell him there are no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. All right, baby. Do speak the unspoken. I Mention know. the unmentionables. That's, you know what I'm saying. The king was yapping a little bit. I'm not going to lie. He was, he was a yapper! Come on, man. I was taken off guard there. Oh, now this doorway's open. This leads me to the waterfall that I couldn't get behind at the end of the last episode. We figured it out, though, boys. We figured it out. Yes, sir. All on our own. All right. So now we got King Dorfy. King Dorfy is now on our group list. King Dork. I want this, actually. Yeah, there he is. King Dorfy. I am King he, Dorf. Very weird looking guy. He looks almost like Dark Soulish Elden Ringish in, yeah, in view. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's happy. All right, so we go back up here, the same teleporter that we've used a billion times. Talk to Jiraiya. Oh, yeah. I thought we talked to... We don't talk to Sidon. He told us to talk to Jito. Now I'm gaslit again. Talk to Hitachi. I don't... <laughs> I'm going to let you talk to Hitachi. <laughs> Swing a camera at your skull. I thought it was as though he wanted us to talk to Sidon because Sidon is the boy. He's in charge of shit, right? He's the next. He's next in line to be king. Why is he like an ant compared to the king, though? Yeah, I don't know, dude. But he looks more kingly than the king. I don't think. Have you made any progress in your search for Princess Zelda? Of nah, course. But the king's speaking in tongues, dog. Whoa! You say my father was attacked by a monster, and the Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him. What could that possibly mean? That she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let uh, our concern overcome us. Uh. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, Link, uh, thank you for telling me about my father. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster that the filthy uh, and that filthy sludge. It seems to be something connected to the sky. We know now that the mark of the king written on the scale refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that of the, what does that say? Land, Land of the, of the sky Skyfish. Fish. Okay. And the floating, I almost said cock, but it says <laughs> floating rock in the shape of a droplet. The drop cock. The drop cock. Uh, st stand upon the land of the skyfish. That must be referring to an actual location of some sort. Yeah, probably the Sky Islands. I'm sure that if we can locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you have, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. Yeah, I will let you know, man. Wow, cool. I'll let you know. Wow. Let's tell him. Jonas, this would be a great time for, you know, maybe you could let me know if you know anything. <laughs> About the drop cock? Yeah, since I'm pretty much just like, I don't know what this dude is even talking about right now. I'm really good at knowing. I've been up to the Sky Islands before. I think I just took a rock up there, though, right? <laughs> yeah, because there's like a rock right there. I can just take like one of these. Is that rocks. where you have to go? Looks like you have to swing up, swim up that big, big old. Bro, you dirt. know we already, we've already. Oh, been there's over one there. that's fallen. We already been over that. We can't do that. We've tried it before. It don't, um, it don't work. Okay, let me. But let I me will. see if I can think really hard. I mean, the the whole point of me going off the edge here. Oh, look at this thing. What is this? 
<laughs> yeah, this that's is different. Talk, that's what I was talking about. That's where we have to go. You, th you think that's where I gotta go? I mean, why wouldn't it be? Oh, cool. I can use one of these bricks here to travel back up to the ceiling. Let's, uh... I mean, we're gonna try... Oh, I don't have motion controls on anymore. So good. Is that a lot easier? Oh, man, yeah, but I honestly expected it to kick in, and it didn't, and it kind of freaked me out a little bit to eat. <laughs> Floating Scales Island. Hey. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be, but we're here. All right. Yeah, I don't know where we're supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We're going to be here at the Floating Scales Island for just a bit anyway. So if I'm at the wrong place, I'm sure that we'll, we'll figure it out here in a little bit. What? Oh, I can, I can wash it off, dude. I can wash the Ooh, shit. You can splurt it. I can wash this. Splurt flute. What does that give me? Oh, that's a... Oh, there's the teardrop, dude. Is that it? That's a diamond, fam. There ain't no teardrop. Oh, that's yeah. a diamond. You got, you got your shapes mixed up. What's over here, though? So I can only wash off... Uh, I want to wash off the important pieces, right? But how can I tell what's important and what's not? Like, that looks important, but it's not. It's not important at all. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Hmm. All right. Let's see. What else do we got here? Can we go higher? Can we get much higher? So high. Oh. 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 It looks almost like I can. Uh. Wow. Can I man can I maneuver any of these? No, I can't move the rocks. I was thinking I could maybe make like a path to get up top. It almost looks like I could go from rock to rock to rock, but that seems a little janky. Is this the Floating Scales Island? This is the Floating Scales Island. Okay. Um, That's like, where I'm at. I think um, what you want to do mm -hmm. is get to the highest point. Yeah, I'm here. I'm at okay. the highest point. And then, like, look down. I'm looking down at it. No, not there. <laughs> uh, you know, look towards the southwest direction. <laughs> you'll, you'll find a spot. You know what? Where a floating rock takes the shape of a droplet. Oh, okay. You know, something like that. Maybe. All right, fair enough. You well, know. you know what? You know what? I'm gonna look for that, but I'm gonna do it on the next episode because I think this is a good time to cut it and finish. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, all right that's all. Tell me every episode. Please make sure to la la laugh and subscribe. Oh, Ooh, laughing. I like that. Make I'm sure laughing. to laugh and subscribe for Jonas. Live, laugh, and subscribe. Live, TNT. live subscribe, and love <laughs> TNT. We out. Oh, look, there's like right hey, there. Yeah, I found it, dude. There it is. Uh, all right, we out. <laughs>